hello and how are you? I can't hear myself. Why is that? There we go. I've unmuted myself. That's why. Uh, good evening and a very warm welcome to Love Audio. Uh, my name is Paul Weber. Very good to be here this evening and glad to have you along as well. Rich Vibes is in the house. Hello to you, uh, Rich. Also, hello to Wit Prophet from Canada. Uh, hi to you and also hi to Matt from Awesome Wood Things so far joining us on the stream tonight. Do hope you're well uh, as we ramp up towards Christmas next week on the Monday night stream. We're going to be talking about Christmas jingles. Rich Vibes knows all about that because he's had some of those for his Sunday night stream on Mixcloud. Now. If you've just joined this particular channel, uh, the Love Audio channel on YouTube, then you might not know why we're here. We're actually here to, uh, to give you the basics. It's a fun and informative and safe platform in which to learn the basics of audio production. So if you're on board with that, let's get going. Rich says, whoop, whoop, they were great. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did catch a few of them. Uh, we were listening as we were putting together uh, Richard's website and things like that, but um, I managed to catch the end of it, uh, you know, without being interrupted. So, yeah, the stream did look really good and uh, loved all the graphics that you had as well, Rich. So well done to you. Um, hello to the Blind Guy Show. Hi to you. Thank you very much for joining this evening. Hope you're all well this evening. And if you've got any questions about audio production or just audio in general, if you've uh, got an issue that you need um, maybe looking at perhaps, um, and I can help you with that, then certainly I will um, will do my very best to answer any questions that you may have. Um, tonight's stream, I must say hello to my son for a moment. Tom, hello to you. Thank you very much indeed for joining the stream. Um, yeah, tonight's um, stream was... Uh, a bit of an impromptu one, really. Not really, really impromptu, but I've just been so busy this week. I've not had a chance to do the upload for the for the promotional video and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I thank you very much for joining because it's been kind of late night, uh, lastminute.com, uh, where that's concerned. Um, but tonight we're going to be talking about why compress when you can limit instead, um, particularly when it comes to um, voiceover work that I do, and I'll show you some examples um, very shortly. Uh, currently, I'm recording an audio book, um, which is I'm narrating this, which is by Jack Lynch. You can buy this uh, in all good bookstores. Don't know how much the price is, but um, you can buy it in all book, good bookstores. You can download it as well. It's called Illicit Deception, and it's by Jack Lynch. And um, I'm uh, narrating the. Uh, chapters of that as we as we speak. So um, between now and March of next year, uh, we'll be putting together the audiobook version of that uh, with my voice voicing the the thing. So we'll we'll actually listen to part of that, a very short snippet of that uh, this evening when I'm demonstrating the difference between compression and limitation or limiter, I should say, not limitation. Um, right, let's put a few people on the screen. That's Wit from Canada. Thank you very much indeed for joining, Wit. Well done. Um, we've also got, um, as I said before, the Blind Guy Show. He's on as well, so thank you very much indeed for joining. And I think, I don't want to forget anybody. Here we go. Uh, Rich says, thank you, Paul. So that's nice as well. Thank you very much indeed. And, uh, yeah, glad to be of service. And, um, yeah, so Christmas next week. Well, not Christmas next week, but next week we'll be looking at um, just some festive jingles and things like that, just putting some sound effects together. And just thinking of a bit of fun, really, and a bit of uh, kind of hanging out together. If you're up for that, then please do join the stream next Monday night at 8 p.m. Um, what, so the date today is the 7th, that'll be the 14th. We may well do one on the 21st leading up to Christmas, um, but uh, we'll wait and see. Um, no promises, <laughs> uh, but it should be good fun anyway. And, and um, if you just come and hang out with me, then that's absolutely fine as well. And we'll have a bit of fun. So... Um, what have you guys been up to? Uh, let me know in the comments if you've been busy this week. What have you done that's kind of an outstanding moment? If you want to let me know about that and share that with the group, uh, then uh, please do say so in the comments. If you're new here, type new in the comments. And um, for the regulars that are in, make sure you make the newcomers feel very welcome. It's always a great way of growing the channel. And... Um, and they will, um, you know, make you feel welcome. So if you are new, then make sure that you uh, uh, get involved with that now um i've got a message here from matt at awesome wood things he's talking about festivus um 
and they're doing a or matt particularly is doing a live stream uh about grievances getting grievances um off your chest that kind of thing i don't know much about it but um no doubt uh, matt will fill you in in the comments uh that'll be on his all things youtube channel um and i don't know the exact date because i haven't done any research on it it's, it's just popped it into the chat so <laughs> completely unprepared um so yeah check out matt's channel and um no doubt that'll be quite good fun um getting everything off your chest um and uh, yeah it should be pretty cool so uh, looking forward to that um matt also goes live on his youtube channel at five to midnight uk time so what's that five to midnight 12 11 10 9 8 7 so yeah 5 to 7 eastern 5 to 5 or 5 to 4 pacific coast i've no idea um i get the time zones wrong so if i am wrong then please do correct me <laughs> um <clears throat> here we go um uh matt i think you've got that wrong it says join me on all things youtube on wednesday december the 3rd my friend that's already gone so probably the date there is a typo uh, I'm hoping that's the 13th. I can't be right, can it? Is that right? 7th today? That can't be right either. Um, Matt, can you clarify the date of your event, please? Because that's completely wrong. <laughs> Wednesday, December the 3rd has been and gone, sunshine. That, that, uh, that party's already left. <laughs> 23rd! <laughs> 23rd of December is Matt's thing on all things YouTube. Three days before Christmas is Festivus. There you go. You learn something new every day. Yeah, we've heard about Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Now you've got Festivus three days before Christmas. Getting stuff off your chest before the big day arrives. I think that's the idea. Um, so there you go. That's, uh, that's been clarified then from Matt. Uh, yeah, so 23rd of December. Put that in your diaries. And get yourself on the YouTube channel for Matt, which is All Things YouTube. Okay. Whew. Wow, it's so warm in here. I don't know if we've got the heating on, but because um, it's such an enclosed room, there's no. I can't reach the window anymore. The window's the other side of the camera. Whereas you know, in my previous sets, you used to be able to see the window. Not anymore. <laughs> it's just so hot in here. Tell you what, let's um, let's cool it down a bit, shall we? Yeah, there you go. A bit cooler now. A bit, uh, a bit cooler. Get some, get some snow in. I, I, you know, did you hear today on the news? They're talking uh, today on on the news on the BBC and various other channels uh, across the UK that um, the UK will probably be facing um, hardly any winter. You know, hardly any kind of um, snowy uh, scenes in the future, particularly in the south of the country, um, because of global warming and all that kind of thing so i was very disappointed to hear that tom's in the audience my son and he'll know uh, that i'm a, a complete and utter snow geek so um, i'm very pleased to be having snow here in the studio today <laughs> and um and it doesn't seem to be it will stutter a little bit i know that for a fact it's kind of you know it makes the video kind of jerky and all that sort of stuff but um yeah it's all good fun so um uh the blind guy show says i've actually been learning to use the compressor mic filter in obs and audacity this week coincidence question mark that is a very good point um so let, i'll tell you what we'll do we'll um we'll get into it shall we so we'll look at this and go there and we'll do that and you should be able to see my let me turn the snow off hang on that's really distracting isn't it sorry <laughs> okay so now you can see my um uh, software of choice, which of course is Presonus Studio uh, Studio One version five, and this is the uh, Pro version, and um, it was recently updated, so uh, it's pretty cool stuff. So what I've done is uh, this is the um, chapter one of the book I was talking about. So it's approximately twenty twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight minutes long. Um, <clears throat> so I'm all, I'm only going to play you a little snippet of it, but what I want to do is take off the limiter, which I placed on the final channel on the, uh, the post mix. So this is obviously on the, uh, the, um, listen bus on the main channel. 
Uh, what I've done is I've taken it, I've put it on there for a, for a start. I've also put a multiband EQ, and I'll tell you about that in a moment or two, but I'm going to turn that off and turn the limiter off as well so that you can hear the audio before I put the uh, limiter on. Now, what I could do in this instance is put a compressor on, okay? Now, um, as Matt says, in my mind, compressor means make the audio sound better. It's like magic. Yeah, it's not a, um, it's not a one size fits all thing though. That's the point, Matt. So, you know, on occasions, there are, there are occasions where you wouldn't use a compressor. In this particular instance, because it's the spoken word and it's going into an audio book, it needs to sound as true to life as possible. So when I'm in the vocal booth behind the, um, the setup here, and voicing the book, then the sound needs to be as clear as my voice is to you and I now. Having said that, I have a compressor on this channel here. So if we go to here and I go to select, um, let's go to compressor. If I turn the compressor off, listen to how dull that sounds now, okay? You can, you can instantly, and it's not just about raising the volume, it's about raising those dynamics you know, in, in, in the whole voice, okay? And the threshold I've got set at negative uh, 18 dB. The attack is fairly mid-range. Mid the ratio is four to one, which is about right. It's, it's about the, the standard um, ratio for compression. Um, uh, release is about halfway, and I've just put the, the, the gain up a little bit to give it some more volume. So if I put that back on, you'll automatically hear that it's now lifting. What it does, it lifts quiet parts of your speech. So if I was whispering, for instance, it, it's, it's lifting that. It's working harder to lift those quiet bits up. But also it's compressing the louder bits uh, of my speech. So if I'm raising my voice, it means that I'm not clipping at your end because the compressor is working enough to submit to, to kind of compress that audio into kind of a more um, even type of band of audio, if you look at the WAV file, for instance. If I go back to um, the, the, the audio here, as you can see, it's fairly uniform. There's a few peaks and troughs. But instead of putting a compressor on here, which would, I think, make it sound odd, what I've done instead is, um, as I say, put that uh, limiter on the final channel, okay? So... We can, we can actually see how that would sound or hear how that would sound by bra uh, dragging in a compressor onto just the, the audio channel, okay? So inserts, it goes into there. So um, we'll, we'll take it off to start with, okay? And we'll play the audio. Chapter one, strange hotel guests. Okay, can you hear that? Hello, my name is Robin Ashurst. I've been told that everyone has a story to tell. This is mine. Various twists of fate led me reluctantly on a journey which my life in ways I could never have imagined. Ordinary people like me do... So that's without the compressor on. If I put the compressor on now, we'll play it again for you. Chapter 1. Strange Hotel Guests Hello, my name is Robin Ashurst. I've been told that everyone has a story to tell. This is mine. Various twists of fate led me... So it's very subtle. There is a little bit there, and I've not put too much input gain on, but if I was to turn that up again, you'd, you'd certainly hear the difference now. Chapter 1. Strange Hotel Guests Hello, my name is Robin Ashurst. I've been told that everyone has a story to tell. This is mine. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds great and it sounds really rich, but in this particular instance, what we're looking for is, is more of a uniform sound because it's a chapter of an audio book and they don't want that compression. They'd rather have it fairly kind of untainted at, at their end. Um, now, that compared to just the general read, um, which if I take off that and that and then close that, this is, this is without any compression or anything on it whatsoever, okay? Now, I really wanted an hour or so in my room before my lunch shift. This had to be a pesky morning coffee order from Ramblers. So what you're hearing is the, uh, the raw vocal sound from my voice to the Marshall um, MXL 2001 microphone, which is in the, in the, uh, the audio booth behind the set here. And, and that's without any compression or anything on it. So I've not put a compressor on, as I said, but what I have done um, is a limiter. 
Now let's just take a quick look at the limiter and see what kind of parameters we can set on it. So if I open that, sorry, bear with me a second. If I right click that and go to edit. So this is the limiter. If we play the audio now, now I really wanted an hour or so in my room before my lunch shift. So it's not doing anything currently because I have not turned it on. So if we go back to <clears throat> post here and we take the multiband off, I'm going to put the limiter on now. You'll see that move. <laughs> Now, I really wanted an hour or so in my room before my lunch shift. This had to be a pesky morning coffee order from Ramblers. So you see that there's a subtle difference between compressing the audio, making it squished, and limiting it. What I'm doing by limiting it is when I do have some peaks and troughs in that particular audio, it's not going to clip and it's not going to sound out of place, okay? Generally, the voice is, is kept at, a, at a, kind of the same level all the way through the piece. However, on occasions, because some of the characters involve shouting or you know raising their voice, then I didn't want it to be compressed. I wanted it to to breathe, if you will. So we're giving audio a chance to breathe by putting a limiter on it and not the compressor. Compressors work really well, and you know, like Matt's comment earlier on, uh, it, it's kind of a, like a magic uh, tool, if you will, that you can use in your arsenal to um, enhance the audio, and that's great. But in this particular instance, when I'm doing the spoken word then what I've opted for in this particular case is um, a limiter. And this is the PreSonus built-in limiter to the software. Um, and I actually think it sounds really good. I've got a little bit of gain on there, so 1.98 dB of gain. So that brings that up a little bit, as you, as you probably heard. But it's not overpowering. It's not, um, you know, if you listen to that now. Now I really wanted an hour or so in my room before my lunch shift. This had to be a pesky morning coffee order from Ramblers. And you can imagine that uh, most people that are listening to an audio book will be listening on their headphones probably, like a podcast or something like that. So they'll have the, the uh, MP3 player in their pocket. Perhaps they've downloaded uh, the audio and the audio book, the entire thing, and they're listening to it whilst they're doing other things perhaps. But, you know, maybe if they're just, you know, instead of, instead of reading the physical words, they can hear the audio as well. So um, I think that sounds okay. I'm quite pleased with that. And that's gone to the client today as well. So now I really wanted an hour or so in my room before my lunch shift. This had to be a pesky morning coffee order from Ramblers. As if I didn't have enough to do. So yeah, it's, as I say, it's not overpowering, but it's, it's, it's subtle enough to be there. So if we turn it off and then play the audio. <laughs> Now, I really wanted an hour or so in my room before my lunch shift. This had to be a pesky morning coffee order from Ramblers. It's okay, but it's not broadcast quality. Do you know what I mean? So uh, generally, when, when, um, when uh, mastering engineers are mastering audio, they tend to put things like limiters on the final stage of the mix, which is exactly what we're doing here. Okay, they wouldn't put it on necessarily on each channel, but they'd put it on the final mix. And what they're doing is looking to lift all of the audio up, but then make sure that it's got some kind of ceiling so it's not going to distort. So whichever, whichever speakers you listen to it on or whichever headphones you listen to it on, it's not going to sound offensive. It's going to be nice and clear, nice and bright. Uh, you know, even when there are quiet pieces in the, in the chapter, you can still hear what's going on because the limiter is, is allowing that to breathe, okay? So I hope that kind of gives you a bit of an understanding about compression versus uh, limiting. You can, don't get me wrong, you can use a limiter, you can use a compressor on here as well, and it would sound absolutely amazing. So, you know, for instance, I mean, I'm going to undo this because obviously this is the major um, <laughs> um, thing. So <clears throat> what I don't want to do, in fact, if I can just drag that over to the master, okay? So the compressor is now on the master uh, bus. So let's have a listen to the audio dry. Yeah. Now, I really wanted an hour or so in my room before. And then we'll put it on for you. Now, I really wanted an hour or so in my room before my lunch shift. Now, that's improved the volume. Yes, it has. But you can hear certain artifacts of my mid range voice coming in there, which the limiter didn't do. So it was, this is kind of making it a bit, a bit kind of more harsh, if you will. Um, the blind guy show says compressor accentuates breaths and mouth noises yes it does you're absolutely right and I, I i've edited out a lot of breaths in this particular piece so you wouldn't hear that but if you if like for instance on this um on the compressor on my desk if you can hear that just one second let me just go to that um 
where are we compressor um and so if i change the threshold of this and bring it down to there but then give you some gain you listen to how that really you know every time i breathe it's like it kind of you hear that whooshing sound coming in and also you can hear everything in the background as well although i've got a gate across it which is stopping a lot of the noise coming through it may sound amazing to you at your end i don't know if it does or not because uh, i'm listening off the desk and not off the, the main bus but um you know it, it's there but for me it's it's too it's too much so you know i tend to drag that down to about there i change the threshold back to um back to there and keep the ratio at four to one okay it's a little bit still too much gain on there so i'm just going to trim that down slightly one two three four five five four three two one yeah so that's roughly where i have it for the desk mic that is but it's completely different in the booth and that's got a separate preamp on it as well um so you know it, like i said to you in in uh a little earlier on you know there are fours and against for compression and there are fours and against for limiting but in this particular instance i am going to remove that otherwise i will end up using it in the mix and i, I don't want that so let me remove that and then we've still got the multi what i wanted to show you was yeah the limiter is now on um but this is a multi not a multi-band um eq and what i wanted to do was was just have it on gently uh rolling off a little bit of the top end because when you get that tss, 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 you know and, and i tend to do that quite a bit so i wanted to kind of roll off that top end a little bit so i've backed off the high end uh just very slightly the mix is 100 percent, and the threshold is fairly low at negative 10 db okay um the high threshold is is negative five and the ratio on this one is not the same as the compressor it's actually 20 to one Okay, so um, this is it with the multiband dynamics on as well. Chapter 1. Strange Hotel Guests Hello, my name is Robin Ashurst. I've been told that everyone has a story to tell. This is mine. Various twists of fate led me reluctantly on a journey which my life in ways I could never have imagined. Ordinary people like me do not get involved in matters of state, political intrigue, or get immersed in the murky world of organised crime. I believed without question all my history lessons at school. There we go. So, yeah, giving you kind of a little bit of an overview about how I've set this particular mix up. And like I say, it's very subtle and I'm making sure that the... Chapter 1. Master volume isn't peaking. If it was, it would show red there and it would stay on for a few seconds to indicate that I've peaked on that particular channel. Uh, so again, I don't want to send any audio that's above a certain threshold and and they've come back with some um uh some parameters for me to record to so i have to try and stick to that when i'm sending them the final audio uh, there's no good me just doing what i want and then sending them a piece of of audio that's you know too loud dynamically loud for them and they can't use it because they're going to just email me back and say no we can't use that you need to redo it <laughs> and it, it takes an awful long time to read you know however many pages it is what are we on here so it's, there's 412 pages in total um, to this particular book. And the good thing is that if they're happy with this one, of course, it's part of a trilogy. And that's the, the three books in the series from Jack. Now you can go to jacklench.com. That's his website if you want to find out more about it. And um, yeah, Illicit Deception, the middle one, is the one that I'm voicing currently. And I believe they want to publish the next one in March or April of next year. So um, fingers crossed that'll be uh, another... Uh, voiceover job to do when that comes in so uh, yeah hope you um hope you enjoyed that kind of look at you know compression versus um versus limiting um again fours and against if you have any comments please do say them and uh, we'll address them as well if you have any other uh issues with regards to your own audio and you want to address that then please do let me know um and just drop it in the comments if you haven't already make sure you subscribe by the way and then uh, click that bell as well because that will let you know when i'm going to be streaming next it's normally every monday night at 8 p.m uk time gmt that is um but occasionally as a couple of weeks ago i i loaded up some other videos as well and i'm going to be doing more of the recorded video stuff um the more kind of tutorial based stuff as well and then leave the monday nights for just you know fun and hanging out that kind of stuff and that's happening in the new year um plus i'm i'm behind by 
seven days on my podcast. I was meant to do a podcast um, for this coming Sunday, um, but I haven't done it yet. What I'm hoping to do is to speak to Jack Lynch, the author of the book, and uh, do a two-way interview with him. But he's currently in Italy uh, on business, so I've got to wait until he gets back or at least has got some, um, uh, some spare internet on his journeys. Um, so that should be good. And, uh, you know, we can play you uh, some of the promotional uh, video or, or audio that we've done for the book as well. Uh, which is pretty cool, and I uh, hope to get him on, uh, get him on rather in a couple of weeks' time, or maybe in a week's time. So, yeah, watch this space, and um, I'll let you know in plenty of time uh, ahead of that. So it's cool. Uh, let's have a look here. So this is um, uh, this is from the Blind Guy Show. You should look into audio description for TV and movies. You have the voice for it. Uh, bless you. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, that's much much appreciated. Um, I've been told that many things, but I've never got into um, TV and movie narration, if you will, or that kind of thing. I guess I could do continuity. Uh, a friend of mine in the north of England does continuity, and, and he, he did a lot of stuff. for. There's a TV channel in the UK called Channel 4, and um, he did a lot of stuff for them back last summer, um, but is no longer on there. So it's obviously very short-term contracts that they have with these uh, voiceover artists that... Um, that provide the service for, for, for doing the, you know, the continuity and narration and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting field and it's one that I've not looked at yet, but I might, um, <laughs> I might take a listen to that. Uh, whilst we're on, by the way, and um, Rich Vibes is on the stream as well, and his, uh, his channel is on Mixcloud and he's also on Bay Vibes Radio uh, down here uh, in the southwest. But um, I just wanted to, let me just save that before we go any further. And I'm going to close that particular project out. Um, you can't see what's going on, can you? Let me do that again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and then we'll look at some um, Rich Vibes. I can play you uh, some of the ones that we did for Rich uh, for, his, um, uh, for his stream uh, on Sunday night. So, uh, yeah, let's just um, play some of those. Let me have a look. Uh, did, uh, did we do a mix down? Yes, we did. So if I solo that track. Will that get me the one? Let's have a listen to this. Merry Christmas from Rich Vibes. See, that's got echo and compression on it. <laughs> to make it more dynamic. But uh, those are the kind of things that we'll be doing next week. Um, just doing some, uh, some fun jingles and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look here. Have we got any more? Did I, that was probably the last one I did. Uh, did we do one here? Here, yes, we did. Um, and again, if I solo that one, that should give us this track. Happy holidays from Rich Vibes on Bay Vibes Radio and Mixcloud. Yeah, I'm not going to sing, don't worry. Um, <laughs> uh, but yes, good stuff, all good fun, and um, <clears throat> there was some uh, more dynamic kind of stuff. Sounds good, says Rich. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I've, I've I've sussed out the uh, you you guys weren't getting stereo last week for some reason. It was monoed on the desk. So what I've done is I've made sure that it's left and right, uh, and you're getting stereo now, which is good news. Okay, um, so that's why it does sound really really good. Thank you, Rich. Um, so. Okay, yeah, so there's another one here that uh, we did for Rich. Let's have a look here. So if I solo that, that should be the one. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Rich Vibes on Bay Vibes Radio and Mixcloud. want any of these by the way then please do get in touch um hello at uh loveaudio.co.uk hang on i've got that on a call to action somewhere probably on there let's have a look yeah there you go uh so yeah hello at loveaudio.co.uk if you want to get in touch uh, with the show and um yeah just send me the lyrics up to 12 words by the way no more than that otherwise it just gets messy um <laughs> this was a um uh, this was um, a voiceover and bed that we did. Uh, a bed is a is, is a piece of instrumental music that you can talk over. So have a listen to this. 
You're listening to Rich Vibes at Christmas on Bay Vibes Radio and Mixcloud. So, you know, you can talk over this bit, say hi, yeah. Hello to Dave, who's got a birthday today, but it's also Christmas, so we're going to play some Christmas hits for you. La li la li la. Do voiceover, voiceover. You'd be dipping the music as well, so it's not quite so loud and, you know, you're not shouting over it like I was. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we should do this, actually. It's the Jingle of the Week. And, um, yeah, because, because Rich is on the... Uh, because Rich is on the stream and it's his jingles. I think uh, we can do that, can't we? I'm sure we can. Um, yeah, we did some really short, sharp sound effects as well. So there's another one for you. Hang on a sec. So this should be, uh, if I play that, I can't hear that. Why is that? Oh, because I've, mute- oh, I've soloed the track, you idiot. <laughs> uh, let's solo that one. Have a listen to that. Go. Go. Merry Christmas from Rich Vibes. So yeah, nice and short, really, really short jingle. Merry Christmas from Rich Vibes. But that um, that backing track has also got echo um, and reverb on it as well, which is pretty cool. And there was one here, I believe. Let's just take that off and solo that. And you should be able to hear that now. Oh, 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 it's Rich Vibes at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. My uh, my very poor attempt at doing a Father Christmas impression. Um, but, you know, what does Father Christmas sound like? That's the point. Uh, we have this in our we have this thought in our head, don't we, that it's a <laughs> big kind of jolly guy with a big red suit on and can't get down the chimney because he's so bloody big. But, um, you know, it could be a nice slimmed down version of Father Christmas, couldn't it? You know, red hat, all that kind of thing. A little goatee going on. Doesn't have to be a white beard. Goodness sake. So stereotypical, isn't it? <laughs> Um, so I think that's pretty much it on the jingle front that we did for you, Rich. I uh, can't see any more because that's from the previous session, so I won't be playing any of those. But anyway, that's our jingle of the week. Normally I do a jingle from Jam Creative Productions, but like I say, it's been manic here this week and I've not managed to, uh, uh, to do any of those. So um, let me just save that. It's already saved and then quit that. So that gets that out of the way. Um, but uh, hang on a second. Was this more of a stinger? Yeah, more of a stinger, says... Um, uh, the blind guy show and happy to do those by the way um i i did a, a stinger set up a stinger for um richard seed for his channel um for the um surf talk live news channel that he's doing on on facebook and uh, we used this as the um it's the stinger. But the problem is it the plays week. whatever's in the frame on your left hand side in the mix so it played Jingle of the Week because that was the last thing that I imported into there. But if I show you again, so um, so look here, if I cut that and if I do the stinger, look, so just the logo. I love that. Look, boom. I think you can do the same as well with. So I, I don't know if you know about VMix um, at all, but if you if you are a VMix user, let me show you my desktop, and uh, you'll see that this is my VMix setup. This is me in the in the other side, which is cool. Um, but the stinger goes like that, and uh, that's not going to help you any, is it? Can you still see my desktop or not? Probably not. There we go. That's it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what you can do is on the stinger itself, um, you go to the overlay section, and then you go down to stingers, which is there. And instead of Richard's logo, if I put um, the where is it? Come on, Paul, where's your logo? Where is your logo? Um, isn't that crazy? I'm sure I've got the logo somewhere. I must have. I must have the logo somewhere. Maybe not. Okay, that's easily done. So we go to add input, go to image, um, browse, then we go to assets, and then we go to my red logo, which is there. Click on that. And then when we go to the overlays, we change that then for the Love Audio Group Channel logo. Uh, it's got 100, dura- 100 milliseconds duration. It's 800 and then 50 seconds, sorry, 50 milliseconds <laughs> uh, for the stinger cut point, right? So you click OK. And so next time you press the stinger, look at that. It's a really good effect. 
And uh, if you just want to just kind of swap screens and make it look kind of flash, just press it and it will play whatever's in your preview window. So for instance, if I, if I put uh, my image in there, it'll go like that. And then back to camera one, like that, back to desktop. That's pretty good, isn't it? Just by pressing the stinger button. Really like that. Okay, that's enough messing about. So 25 to 9, bit of an early one today, not a full stream. Um, but uh, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, what you can do if you'd like to support the channel in any way, shape or form, uh, then please do head on over to my Teespring site. And you know what? Believe it or not, I know you're not going to believe me, but I do have an overlay this time. <laughs> uh, which shows you the website. So that's teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash love audios merch store and put hyphens in between, all right? And there you will find T-shirts and mugs. The mugs look like this, okay? You can have them on, on a different color background or whatever. This happens to be a purple one, okay? Um, the T-shirts are also available in new colors now. I've got a, a, a navy blue background for mine. Um, but um, you can choose whatever color you want. So if you want to, uh, to, to help the channel in any way, get on over to my Teespring site. That's teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash love audios merch store. And you will find it there. Um, let's have a look here. Let me just remove the thing from there and then go to there. <laughs> I'm going to be using that a lot now. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, listen, um, the blind guy show says, um, I, I made a stinger for my channel. It's not that great, LOL. Well, if we can help in any way, please do let me know. Um, and uh, yeah, drop me a line. Hello at loveaudio.co.uk, okay? Hello at loveaudio.co.uk. There you go. Get in touch with the show. Please do so. Um, that's also one way you can help. And also, if you want to support me via my Patreon page, uh, I've got a button for that. There you go. So you can support me on patreon.com forward slash love audio production. Uh, I'd love to see you on there as well. And so that goes away. Brilliant stuff. And yeah, that's that's kind of pretty much it. Oh. Just wanted to throw a jingle in there as you do. Uh, and we'll make it snow again because it's that time of the year. Uh, thanks very much for hanging out, guys. Really, really good to see you. And um, we um, hope to see you next Monday night at 8 p.m. UK time. That's 8 p.m. GMT, 3 p.m. Eastern in America, probably 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, 10 p.m. South Africa. Goodness knows what time it is in Australia. You'll have to let me know if you're in the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, really good to see you and uh, look forward to seeing you next week uh, when we'll be looking at some Christmas jingles. And if you want a jingle made for you, uh, then make sure you drop uh, drop me an email to hello at loveaudio.co.uk. That will arrive in my inbox and then we can uh, look at the lyrics for you and um, and get that mixed with some, some backing tracks as well, which are non-copyright. So uh, no worries about getting struck or anything like that or copyright claimed. Okay. So that's about it. Thank you very much indeed for hanging out with me today and I look forward to seeing you next week.